If you have clicked this video, then probably you are going to be appearing in the upcoming AIPGT 2024 exam, which is due to be conducted on the 6th of July. So you must be in a lot of stress right now. You must be in a lot of anxiety. You must be in a lot of tension. But nevertheless, all of this anxiety, all of this tension can hamper your exam in the last week. So watch until the end of the video because in this video, I'm going to share with you the ultimate seven days revision blueprint and we are starting right now. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Tara Khan. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies. If this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. So since the time is less, I'm not going to take much of your time. I'll try to keep this video as compact as possible. I am going to divide this video into two parts. The first part, I'll be covering how to finish all the subjects, the major subjects and the minor subjects in the last seven days. And at the last, I will give you a few last minute precautions that you must take. So these are the days that I have plotted day one, D two, D three, four, five, six, seven. And all of these subjects I have divided into three categories, big subject, average subject and short subjects. Before moving further, if you already have a revision plan, if you already have a strategy, if you already have planned out everything, your study table, then this video is not for you. Skip this video, go and study. But if you don't have a revision plan, if you don't have a foolproof study plan, study routine, then follow each and everything what I say in the video, what to study, where to study, how to study, when to study. Don't apply your brain, just follow as I say. So all these subjects I have divided into three categories, big subjects, average subjects and short subjects. Now each day you will be studying six hours, big subject, four hours, average subjects and short subjects. You will be giving two hours. So each day you will be studying for 12 hours. You will also be taking breaks in between that I'll talk about in the video. So on the day one, first big subject that you will be covering is surgery and average subject is anatomy. Now I am not writing this down, just take a screenshot so that it saves you time. So the average subject that you will be completing is anatomy and short subject is homeopathic pharmacy. On day two, you will be covering ops, organon, few portions of organon because again on day five, you will be covering the remaining portions of the organon and also you will be revising whatever organon that you have completed on day two. And the short subject on day two is your repertory. Next on day three, you will be covering gynae and the surgery that you have completed on day one, you will be revising on day three and you will be starting materia medica. Now this materia medica, I have not written everywhere, but each and every day, at least take out half an hour to one hour for materia medica, because this materia medica, you cannot complete on one day, two day. You have to consistently study this materia medica for the entire week. So materia medica every day for half an hour study. Next on day four, you will be studying medicine and day two, you have studied ops. You will be revising ops again on day four and you will be revising anatomy. Okay. So this entire week, you will be doing one study of the subject and you will be again revising this. So I have planned this that also revision gets covered on day five. You will be studying pathology and you will be revising gynae and also repertory and you will be studying organon and also revising that subject. Next on day six, study physiology, not a very huge subject, but important. Revise medicine and pathology and also study FMT, very small subject, probably you should be able to cover in two hours and also revise homeopathic pharmacy. On day seven, study PSM, study OSAT series. Now what are OSAT series? Ortho, radiology, pedia and these kind of miscellaneous subjects. And lastly, on day seven, I have kept some time for miscellaneous topics, miscellaneous subjects, and also volatile topics. Now, what are volatile topics? I have already covered this in my past video. I'll put the link of those videos that you must watch because I have talked few, few important things in those videos before you start this plan. So this is your day seven, the last week plan that you need to follow. Now, the next question is topics under each subject. What are the topics? So this is the plan. These are the subjects that you will be covering, but what are the topics that you will be covering? Now, this I have already covered in my gold and halva topic. Yeah, see this gold and halva topic video. I already made few weeks probably back. I'll put the link of the video somewhere. So watch that video. Now, those 
topics that I have talked in that video, those are my recommendations. Means if I have talked in anatomy that you need to study upper limb, lower limb, those are the basic recommendations that you have to study from that subject if you're gonna appear in this exam, okay? So based on a lot of calculations, on a lot of statistics, I have recommended those topics. So don't miss out those topics. So watch that video for the topics that you need to study under each of these subjects, okay? Next is, when are you gonna study? So wake up early. First important thing, wake up early. So the big subjects, you're gonna wake up at 6.30 a.m. From 7 a.m., you're gonna sit and start studying. From 7 to 1.30, you're gonna study the big subjects. After 1.30, take some rest. Have your lunch, take a bath, take a power nap and sit again to study from 3 p.m. Because from 3 to 5 p.m. you're going to study the average subjects. Okay, here I've written sleep for 45 to 1 hour, 45 minutes to 1 hour. Next from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. that is for 4 hours, you will be studying the short subjects. Okay, so after 10 you will be sleeping and then again waking up at 6.30. So the total sleep that you will be getting will be around 8 to 9 hours and that is more than enough for you. So follow this routine and strategy that I have talked about and like I said, if you already have a plan, don't follow this. If you already have a timetable, don't follow this. If you don't have a study routine, if you don't have a revision plan, then don't apply your brain. Just do what I'm saying, okay? Next, let me talk about few last minute precautions. First, and the most important thing is no adventures. On the day of your exam, there should not be any adventures. Don't take a separate route. Follow the route that you already know. Take regular routes. Trust on Google traffic. Don't take any shortcuts, okay? So on the day of the exam, absolutely no adventures. Eat healthy food two days, three days before the exam and not just two, three days for the entire week before the exam. Eat healthy food, avoid junk food, avoid canned food, avoid any kind of food that is going to make you sick, that you can suffer from indigestion because losing even one day of your preparation will be a huge cost that you won't be able to bear in the last week before the exam. So eat healthy. Third is no new medications. Like, let me try this, that will help me to stay awake at night. No, no new medications in the last week. Fourth is early morning sun exposure for last seven days. Very important. That is gonna help you set your biological clock because earlier to this, you may not be following this routine, waking up at 7 a.m. and studying and until 10 p.m. and then going to sleep. Next is your emergency medicine. On the day of your exam, take few emergency medicines anti-acidity, few acidity medicines or painkillers inside the examination hall because forget about homeopathy principles, okay? Because even homeopathy says that in case of the most urgent cases, you can use emergency medicines. So keep emergency medicines inside the examination hall. You cannot allow any nausea. You cannot allow any stomach ache, headache to affect your exam. So take emergency medicines inside the exam hall if required. Sixth important thing is reach the exam hall one hour earlier and don't forget your ID card plus your admit card. Make sure that you have these two documents with you and reach the exam hall one hour earlier. Leave early for your exam hall because on the way anything can happen. Some unusual traffic can show up, the car tire may go flat anything unusual can happen okay the driver may come late so keep buffer time to reach the exam hall and lastly the seven point if you follow all of these six points you will still have anxiety there will be anxiety you will be anxious you will have panic attacks when you have this take deep breaths inhale deeply exhale deeply do this for five to six times now remember that you have to be calm on the day of your exam before going into the exam hall inside the exam hall you have to remain calm because if your mind is calm you will be able to answer MCQs like this but if you are in panic you are anxious you are under stress then even the most easy questions you are gonna miss so follow these things that i have spoken in this video also watch my golden halwa topic video for the topics that you should be studying for this exam also one video that i have uploaded in the past where i have talked about what are the things that you need to do on the day of your 
your exam watch that video i'll link those videos in the description don't worry about that okay so go now study give your exam give your best all the best to each and every one of you who is watching this video after the exam in the comment section of this video let me know how your exam went and based on your comments how the exam was i'll try to make a video after the exam let me know how you like the video give it a thumbs up if you like it share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next video